streaming data via Kinesis to S3. So our use case is to ingest streaming data using Kinesis, partition it and save it in S3. Here's a simple block diagram. Incoming data stream in JSON format is captured by Kinesis data stream and then sent to Kinesis data firehose to process, transform and partition it before saving it into a S3 bucket. Before we move on to the demo, a quick introduction. Kinesis data stream is a serverless streaming data service to capture and process data at scale. While Kinesis delivery stream or data firehose delivers data stream to select destinations and therefore it acts like an ETL service. For our demo, here's what our incoming JSON looks like. It has fields like sensor ID, current temperature, status and event time. Let's begin our demo now. We are in AWS console Amazon Kinesis services section. Let's hit create data stream. Provide a data stream name. Let's call it uh, Kinesis-BS and uh, we will have our data stream capacity as on demand and we'll leave all the other data stream settings as default. Hit create data stream and our data stream has been created. Now we will create our delivery stream or data firehose. Let's hit the create delivery stream. We will choose our source as Amazon Kinesis data stream and our destination as Amazon S3. Now under source settings, we will select uh, our specific Kinesis data stream, which is Kinesis-DS, which we had created earlier. And let's give this delivery stream a name. We'll call it Kinesis-FH for Firehose. And here we have optional transform and convert record section. So we will leave that and we are not going to use that. In destination settings, we will provide a path to the S3 bucket where we want to save our data. And since we are interested in dynamic partition, which enables you to create targeted data sets by partitioning. So we select that as enabled. And here we enable parsing for JSON. So mark that as enabled. There is an example record that we can look at. It shows how partitioning can be done. Uh, so let's provide a key name. Since we have uh, sensor underscore ID as one of the incoming fields, we provide that and provide an expression called um, dot sensor underscore ID. Let's hit apply dynamic partitioning keys and there you can see partition key from query has been added. Provide an S3 bucket error output prefix. Let's uh, just call it ERR. And under the buffer section, we will change the buffer interval to something smaller, like 60 seconds. So Firehose buffers incoming data before uh, delivering it to S3. So under advanced settings, we leave everything as default and hit create delivery stream. So our delivery stream is ready. For our demo, we need a way to send data to Kinesis data stream. So let's look at Kinesis data generator, which is available on GitHub. We will use Kinesis data generator to send data to our Kinesis stream. So before we can use this, uh, we need to set up uh, Amazon Cognito user and so on. So only such a user will be able to publish to the Kinesis data stream. Now uh, we can use this cloud formation template to create our Cognito user. So hit that create a Cognito user. And this opens AWS console cloud formation screen. Make sure that you are in the correct region. Okay, and we leave everything as default. Hit next. All right, that's the stack name. And let's provide our Cognito user name and a password. So we call that Kinesis user and give it a password. Hit next. Okay. Leave everything as default. Hit next. All right. 
review all that and hit submit okay acknowledge that checkbox and hit submit so our cloud form, cloud formation stack is being created and under events we can uh, see the progress let's refresh that and you can see our resources being provisioned okay. and under output we will get kinesis data generator url so let's click that and open that link okay good so now uh, our kinesis data generator has opened and uh, let's provide a username and a password hit sign in make sure the region is correct and our kinesis data stream is selected so this is the template that we are going to use this will generate random sensor id current temperature status and so on and an event time so if you hit test template you can see some sample records now we are ready to send data to our kinesis data stream so before that let us also open our developer console and select the network section now hit send data so you can see the records are being sent and in developer console you can see all those requests so let's examine one of them and look at the response here you can see things like sequence number and also shard related information so that's the shard id now kinesis data stream will have many shards and this particular data landed in that particular shard identified by the shard id now let's view ingested data now in aws console under our kinesis data stream let's select the data viewer tab and look at the data that has been ingested so we select a random shard and choose starting position as a timestamp give a date and a time and hit get records now you may have to hit next records a few times before you can see the data right so there you can see the data that has been ingested in the JSON format. Okay. Now, under the monitoring tab, there is a lot of useful stream metrics that you can possibly look at. Now, let's go to our delivery stream or Kinesis Data Firehose. Okay. And here, under the monitoring tab, there is a lot of interesting delivery stream metrics information. So let's uh, select one of them. And here it shows records read from Kinesis data stream. Okay. And uh, here delivery to S3 object count. You can see that data here. Now, Kinesis Firehose should have partitioned and saved the data in S3. So, let's refresh our S3 bucket and there you have it. All our data partitioned by sensor ID. So, those numbers are sensor IDs and that's our data file. So, let's download that and look at the data. And here you have all the data of sensor ID 10. So with that, we come to the end of our tutorial on streaming data via Kinesis to S3.